Hey Simmers, welcome back to the channel where we learn to build panels fast and cheap. So this RICP panel is where the fun begins. We have many new things to build besides uh, the panel itself. As you can see here, we have a couple of special knobs. The tri knob, the cross, the diamond. And then at the bottom, we have this bottom knob for all three of them, as shown here. We also need a special bracket to hold the um, dual encoder. And then we need a cap here to put over a light indicator. Okay, so this might be a long video where we see how to build all this. So let the fun begin. The type of switches used. Small toggles, big toggle, this dual, sh dual shaft encoder, three of them. A small push button, you want to paint is gray then a rectangular light indicator and we built a cap for it and this is a cutout so that the light can pass through so all these knobs the, we'll build the top one first okay and at the bottom they all need to have a d-shaped hole because this tip here of the dual shaft is a d-shaped one now then we build the bottom volume knob and then we build the bracket these two holes here are to mount with screws the bracket to the panel and then in the center the two holes is to hold the uh, encoder. All right, starting with the diamond knob, I'll go in the order of difficulty. So this one will be the easiest for a start. Have a circle, build the base. You want to fillet the, the base first. In the past, I have built everything, then try to fillet and find it not able to so you want to fillet this edge first then later whatever you build um, the the base is already fillet so we we want the arc to have a like a horizontal distance so we um, have a rectangle rectangle here first okay it's kind of hard to see because it's white against white and then you have a line here then you build an arc and then that is the same like the radius of the base and then you draw an arc and you trim okay trim the sides same thing here you you trim away the sides and you leave you are left with the arc okay at the top and the bottom of course delete this then it's left this. Then you delete all these lines. Okay, you join join it with the lines, straight lines, and then delete the ones inside. You you got this. Now it becomes like this. Then you pad. Okay, fillet the top, fillet the sides. The bottom, we have a D shape, basically a circle, and then you cut, and then just take the distance from the origin horizontally to one of the points here and then you trim okay then you have a d-shape to fit the encoder so let me demo that first all right as usual new body sketch xy plane circle Make sure this is diameter, not radius. Click 
close pad 3 click on the top edge fillet 0.75 select the top surface create another sketch and then we want a line of 9 and a rectangle width of 4.5 so do a line and then a rectangle now this line is 9 then we center it then this one with 4.5 symmetry now both centered Next, we want to make an arc 8.25. Next, we do with the arc. Click on this. Make sure you click in the center. And then, if you don't cross out, you just touch the lines. You don't have to trim later. And then, click on this again. Click on the origin. And touch the lines now just to be sure we click on this and state the radius 8.25 and then this one 8.25 okay now we want to trim away this do this trim trim delete at the bottom trim trim delete now we use lines we join okay then we can trim away all this Okay, if you close, you can see this here. All right. Then we pad 10. What's that? Default is 10 already. And then you can trim all the edges, vertical ed edges. can trim the top okay Lastly is just the base. Three point nine point nine five. So I have a circle. Diameter three point nine. And then have a vertical line. Okay, if you see this thing here, it says this is vertical and then from here to here 0.95 then you trim you also want to trim away this all right now you get a d-shape then you park it 11 that's it and you have the small diamond knot. Okay. As usual, save, then click the whole body and export.
So next we look at the small cross knob, base, fillet, two rectangles, horizontally, vertically, do the arc and trim. Okay, you get this, fillet the top, fillet the edges, and at the base create the D shape again, and you're done. So click new body sketch circle diameter eighteen close pad three relay point seven five click at the top sketch and here we do this width of 8 and then another rectangle like this height of 8 <clears throat> now we center them the two edges axis symmetry two edges axis symmetry all right then we do an arc and we touch and touch here again always go back to the center touch touch center Touch, touch, center, touch, touch. All right, now we make sure that the distance is correct. So we want radius of nine. So switch this to radius, do nine. nine nine and nine i suppose you can click select all four and do it once so see here now this is nine and we want to trim away all this So all these floating lines can be <coughs> removed. Okay, now we want to trim away all this inside as well. So it looks like this. So trim some more. Okay, when you close, you should get this. Then pad 10. Now we um, fillet the top 0.75, the vertical edges one. So hold down the control, select all the top edges. Then Again, control. All right, we have our cross and then just, oh, yeah, this is the same, all of them want. At the bottom, like the first knob, do a D-shape, okay, and you are done here.
select and save and export okay okay once again new body sketch xy plane circle diameter 18 close pad 3 same drill relay 0.75 new sketch now we want to do triangle now the default might be something like this then you cannot find the triangle okay where there's a drop down come here select triangle select the center and then you can rotate this try to do this align if it if you accidentally do this and it doesn't align with the vertical axis select this point select the origin click this and now it becomes a line all right so we want the radius to be 18 then we draw lines so the don't click on any of these straight lines click on this blue or purple circle okay and state 18 all right turn screen now we draw lines from the center to the edges okay then we draw dots somewhere in the middle make sure it highlights the line okay then to center it click to the middle symmetry middle symmetry and then this 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 symmetry all right then we draw circles from here we want to touch the edge suppose you can touch here too okay but if you touch the edge all of them will be you have now we have three circles now we trim everything Put the straight lines you can just select and delete. All right, now you can close. Oops, that's one more. Close, and we can pet 10. vertical edges three then the top okay this control and select I'm gonna do a nice big three for a nice big curve right now we just like this then we do the top just one all right and same drill do the d shape pocket 11 and select this save and export now we have the third now Okay, let's try to create this bottom volume now. New body and we go straight to part workbench. Do a tube. 
and 10, 11.57. 10, 11.5. Right, it's 7. All right. So some of these look a bit similar. This is a tube. This is a cylinder. This is a cone. This is a cube. So okay, the first one is done. And then we do a cube. One minute spin. So we do a cube. It'll be like this, very big. Select it. Bring it down. One, one. Same height. Seven. Now it's in the middle here. You want to move it to the edge. X X X axis eleven. So click on this. Do eleven, and it comes in. All right, it's kind of like half buried in the ring. Then we do this polar array to multiply. It, okay, go to draft. And then this thing here, drop down, look for polar array. Default is 5, select 25. Okay, got that. Then create a bottom tube. Three point one. Three point one is just nice. Anything smaller is tight. Anything bigger is loose. So. 3.111 so go back to part another tube 3.1 outer radius 11 height it's just one so that it's at the bottom okay which when you flip over becomes the top then we create one in the middle here Again, 3.1, but you know, radius and 3.15. Another one, 3.1, 5, and 7. All right, now we got this, this thing here. Then we create two cubes. Thickness 1.7, so cube. And then select it. 0 0.5, 0 0.5, <clears throat> 5 and seven. Okay. First set is dimension. Then worry about moving it. So we want to move it slightly in to touch the inner tube. So 1.95 minus 0 0.6. So here, one point nine five minus zero six. All right. Repeat. Create another one. Another cube. One point five five seven. Then this time. We go minus three point five, minus three point four five, and this one minus six again. All right. So we are done. So the two teeth here will fit into the groove here, and the thickness, the height will be just slightly smaller than the outer shaft and you will turn the outside while the inner shaft is free to turn for the upper knob okay so save to a project because this is not part design this is part of the bench you want to select everything then you select it if you just select on the top here 
it's not going to really select anything okay control a select everything and export when you export you bring to cura it should it should be like this if it's the other way around then it's going to print with a lot of support okay a lot of material and also it will take a long time to print so make sure you flip it around like this when you print okay so now we have the lower volume now okay we are finally at the panel for the dimensions are shown here and doubly dual encoders three of them toggles toggles buttons small toggles light indicator toggles all right the dimensions are all stated here create lines create this special symbols and then at the bottom create recesses since these are oh some of them are big toggles so you should have the locking holes as well all right and then create some text and pad it's a big panel so all these lines text will take a while then we need to create this bracket all right it's a very simple bracket just to this thing is the two legs you push it in it will hold it up and then two screws to screw this to the panel so just draw this punch two holes okay pad it at the wings here becomes like this and then when you want to print you want to rotate this red circle rotate it down so that it prints upwards without support so you see when it is done this bracket holds this and then the lower knob upper knob okay This thing happens to align the height of the outer shaft nicely. Now wiring the dual shaft encoder, you see many pins here. These two pins here are for push button, uh, positive, negative, you don't have to worry about them. So the side where they have the two extra pins is for the outer shaft here and then this side without the two extra pins is for the upper shaft okay so c is always the ground the common so this is like pin one pin two then pin three pin four okay and join this middle pin and this middle pin to the common ground to all the other switches all right so how to build this bracket new body sketch xy plane rectangle this time this time don't start from here go around it and we want nine in the middle 12 18 by 12 18 12 center both circles
horizontal you want the height to be 6 and 5.95 with the radius diameter 2.5 and the distance to be 5.95 0.95 and we're done close pad 1.5 select surface sketch again this time we want to build the walls Height is 12. Make them horizontal. Width is 1.5. And outer edge is 9 inches. So once we state this, they will align with the edge. Nine here, nine. All right, we're done here. So, just to check, yeah, looks fine. Pet ten. And then build the wings. Select the top edge, sketch, and twelve by twelve, so Twelve, same height. This is twelve. This is twelve. If this is one point five, so this is nine minus one point five. Okay, 7.5 and then two circles. Same thing, 6, 3.5. Make them horizontal, height 6. Diameter and the distance is fourteen from the center. And we're done. At one point five. Close at Okay, now you have the bracket. Select, save, export. Now the bracket, you don't want to print like this. I use Cura, you might use something else. So select this. Um, in field density, I usually just use 15, standard quality. So you want to come down here. This one, you, you will build support which will slow down the printing and it's wasting materials. Just select this, select this one here, okay, and rotate it to either side. And now it prints vertically without the need for any support.
all right now you can slice and then click to save to a drive a thumb drive next we look at the creation of the reply cap for the light indicator so you have a circle you have a bigger one sorry not circle rectangle you build a bigger one with a one inch um, expansion you pad it then at the bottom build a base okay then it looks something like this and create a text and using the part workbench instead of using part design to pad you use part workbench to extrude which does the same thing but this time around you lower it by one mm it will get embedded into the cap body okay then you select the body select the extruded shape string and you do this intersection cut and it will cut out the text all right so let's try Eighteen point one, fourteen point five, fourteen point three, and then we draw a bigger one. One on each side. All right, pad eight, eight, and then at the edge, create another one, and do this here. 20.1, Hmm, looks smaller. Oh, okay, it lights. So here to here is one and here to here is one okay it aligns to with the outside now we pad one all right so we have a box like this then click top make it flat select it go to draft select this we want it somewhere here and we want it in caps reply size 4.5 font is um, we want to see windows font a real bold click ok why is it this way go back to zero and go down Okay, this looks somewhere in the middle. 
right. You want to turn off the grid GR, okay? But with the grid, you can tell roughly it's uh, in the middle. So normally you use part design to pad. We don't want to do that. We use part workbench and the shape string is selected. Extrude one. Okay, it goes like this. Then we go down one. All right, now it's embedded. Then select the body first, and then the extrude. It will subtract from the second selected element and click this one here. Make a cut. And voila, the text has been cut out. Okay. Now select the cut and export. Okay. Okay, having done all the knobs and caps bracket, we look at Arduino toggle switches, easy to wire, one pin, two pins, push buttons, even more straightforward. Um, you can see all the black ones are ground. And the encoder, ignoring the one for the push button, basically two sides, right? St always starting on the left side, it's your first pin, and then the second pin to A, and then the third pin goes to the A of the outer side, and then fourth pin go to the B of the outer side, and you're done. And do it for the two other dual encoders. All right, this is how you wire them. Now, a lot of pins, a lot of switches, toggles are very straightforward. So every one, every encoder has two pins, upper one, bottom one. So two, two here, all this. Okay, so basically it's like three times four. Okay, 12. So the TCS BIOS, the code is all given, just assign the pins. When you run out of the digital ones, you can use the analog pins as digital pins. Obviously not vice versa. So you cannot um, use analog pins so use digital pins for analog, okay? You can't do those. Now, you have to, in DCS BIOS, you have to drop down from simple to advanced to use the rotary encoder code, okay? By default, when you choose, when you choose all this um, volume, you're gonna get the the uh, potential meter code. So to see the code for rotary, go to advance and pick all this. Okay, that's how we end up with this. Else you'll see uh, potential meter code only. All right, six of them. So when it's done, this is how it looks like. Okay, a light indicator with a cap and then all these knobs that we created, the lower knob, volume now the bracket so it's going to be fun now to demo everything in action oh just to note some of these are not working in dcs bios they used to work all of them and the latest one latest version seems to have broken some of them so this lower knob this toggle switch this one here and all this here are not working okay i will show you why it's working
Another thing to point out is that you saw in the demo that this light was always on, which is also a DCS BIOS bug at the moment. During the general light test, it doesn't come on, and it should come on when you get IFF interrogated. Otherwise, it sh should stay off, but uh, when you start DCS, um, and the uh, COM port starts running, the light comes on. So that is not correct. Anyway, a couple of switches to fix um, all these toggles. Eventually, everything will be working. So these detailed tutorials are meant to help everyone um, be able to create panels and knobs fast and cheap you don't have to go buy them and also the lessons can be applied to build other aircrafts in dcs like the f-18 the a-10c the apache even the upcoming f-4 all this right once you become comfortable with freecad and arduino you can design any kind of knobs any kind of panels so I hope you guys can support my channel and like and subscribe and share with others so that more people can um, enjoy DCS with um, a cockpit. Thanks for watching.